Last month, Apple released its latest version of OS X, El Capitan. Today, we're going to take a look at the public beta version of it. With El Capitan, there are four major updates. Split view, mission control, spotlight, and notes. Let's start by taking a look at split view. Now, this feature I'm a little apprehensive about because it's very similar to the one found in Windows 8. So basically, when you have a full screen application open, you can drag a window that isn't full screen over top of it, and it will split the two applications in half to take up the full screen. It actually resizes the items in your windows rather than just squishing them. So in calendar, it'll move things around, it'll make it look more organized. The slider is very smooth, it's not glitchy. In Windows 8, it all feels kind of poorly stitched together, but I think Apple has pulled it off in a way. I'm still not entirely sold on the concept as a whole, but I do think that for what it is, it works pretty well. Now let's talk about Mission Control. This feature has always been a little bit iffy for me because it would stack windows, it would move them around, I couldn't find things, and the bar at the top to select your different desktops obstructed a lot of the screen, especially on smaller computers. Now though, Apple has changed it so that the switching view for the desktops at the top bar is a little sliver that enlarges when you hover your mouse over it. In addition to this new refinement of the desktop switcher at the top of the screen, the actual windows in the screen fit much better now. So basically, the same structure is there, but it's laid out better, it's easier to find things, and, and it's more pleasant to use. One other little tidbit, if you lose your cursor on the screen, all you have to do is wiggly 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 the trackpad around, and then the cursor gets larger so that you can see where it is. This is great if you are an old person. Let's talk about Spotlight now. Now last year, with Yosemite, we saw a lot of major improvements. It became more intelligent, more versatile, was able to search more than just your computer. And this year we see more of the same. It can now search weather, the internet, any number of things to try and find what you're looking for. As well as that, it can be resized and dragged around so that you can see more of your content. Spotlight also allows you to search using your regular language. For example, you could search documents that I worked on last week and it'll know by the time you've opened these documents when and what those were. Ever since the Notes application was introduced on Mac, it's always been kind of a second-hand sort of thing. You can just jot down some quick text and that's about it. But now, we have a lot more options. We can turn it into a checklist with bullet points or numbers. We can also use it to write down pictures, to copy URLs, or even to copy a location on a map. You can also save things from other apps, from websites. For example, if you go to a hotel finding website, you could save it in the note as an interactive item. Now, not only can you jot down your notes, but you can jot down your life. That's so cheap. El Capitan also brings a few more minor updates. For example, photos can now act as a hub for third-party interactive editing apps, so that you can edit your photos in the Photos application using third-party software. In Safari, you can now pin websites to your tab selection permanently. This means that when you choose a few of your favorite websites, Safari will keep them open in the corner and always refresh them constant so that you can always have access to them. Have you ever had ads playing or music from multiple tabs and you don't know which one it's coming from? Well now you can just mute them, which is nifty. One other exciting new thing we get with El Capitan, finally, is Metal. This has been on iOS devices for the last year and a half, two years or so, and now finally we can use it on our Macs as well. There are some impressive numbers. Here's a number. Here's a number. Here's a number. That's a lot of numbers. As Apple says, Metal allows the main graphics processor and the processor to work better together. Friendship. And now it's time for more numbers. It's a 
lot of numbers. And that, in a nutshell, is OS X El Capitan. It will be released for the public this fall, probably September or October, and if you're willing, you can download the public beta by visiting this website right here. Just click on it. People always do this in videos where they pause and wait for you to click on something even though we all know you're not going to click on it. Alright guys, next week I will be bringing you a review of a 90s computer. It ought to be exciting.